So let's take a look at uh, another example that we've already worked through, which was the North Carolina um, births data set. So this bootstrap distribution, this was created um, from this data set. And so we started looking at this problem set with that data set. Um, and so from that bootstrap distribution that we created, if we wanted to come up for with an interval estimate, in this case, a 95% confidence interval to estimate the, the mean weight of babies before all we said was that it's probably close to 3,448. That was our sample mean. Um, now let's use this bootstrap distribution to build in some error and come up with an interval for it to estimate the, the mean birth weight. Um, so here's the picture. If we enter this into R, then um, here's the code down here. So again, um, result, this was the vector where we stored all of the bootstrap means that we got. Um, so I'm going to take all, and these are the values that are all displayed in this histogram. So I'm going to take all of the values in the histogram, tell me what the 2.5 percentile is, and that's about 3,418. So I'll put a red bar here. That's pretty close to the 3,420. And then for the upper one, that's 3,478. So that's maybe someplace over here. Um, and so this interval estimate is capturing where the middle 95% of my bootstrap values came from. So that's the process and how we get those cutoffs for our interval, but how we would interpret them is I would start by saying, um, for example, this is a 95% confidence interval, so we would say um, there's a 95% chance. And again, where should we attach this uncertainty? Not to the mean weight of all babies, there's nothing uncertain about that, but we're gonna attach this to the interval estimate that we have down here. So there's a 95% chance uh, the interval from 3,418, I'm gonna just truncate that, grams, to 3,479 grams contains the actual mean weight of all newborns in North Carolina in 2004. So we just want to be careful about where, what population we're extending this estimate to. Since the data all came from babies born in North Carolina in 2004, there, that's what we're estimating here. So there's a 95% chance the interval from 3,418 to 3,479 grams contains the mean weight of all newborns in North Carolina. So this interval gives us a range of plausible values for the population parameter.